Hey everyone, so today's makeup tutorial, Halloween tutorial, is a sexy vampire. Yeah. This look is super, super easy for anybody to recreate. You can totally tone down the eyes if you're not very good at eye makeup, or even apply it super messy because it totally, you know, goes with the look. You don't have to look perfect. So this is my before and after. If you want to know how to do it, stay tuned. I'll try to explain it the best I can. But yeah, all you need is a few eyeshadows, some red lipstick, and you're good to go. I am starting with a pale foundation all over my face. I'm going a little bit paler than my natural skin tone just to look, you know, vampirish. They're not really tanned often, are they? <laughs> so I'm applying that all over and then I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes just to hide my bags and anywhere else I need it and then powder everything down so that it lasts all day slash all night. When are you going to be wearing this? Next I'm going to draw in my killer vampire cheekbones. So I'm starting with a normal contour powder colour. This one's Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going in with a dark grey colour. And I'm going to put this on top just to make it look really sullen and dead. I don't know. And then I'm going to take a white and put that on my cheekbones and down my nose and anywhere where I would normally highlight my face. For the eyebrows, I'm making them super thick and arched right on the arch. Super, super pointy and just scary looking. They still look cool in the end and they still look, you know, wearable. But they're a lot pointier than my natural brows and sharp, as you can see. So that's the shape I'm going for. And then next, I'm going to prime my eyelids and move on to my eyeshadows. And I'm going to be using the Lorac... I think this is the second Lorac palette and I'm going to use this color here and put that all in my crease and I'm using a very heavy hand. I want lots of product on there because I want it to be super dark and super smudgy and smoky and just deep and all of that good stuff. I am bringing that darkness right into that inner corner, right up by my nose, and bring it down my nose a little bit as well, just to bring it all together. But really, really can hear it super, super dark, because you want it to look like your eyes are quite, you know, sunken in and all of that kind of thing. Then I'm taking a black, and I'm just going to start building up the color in the crease. And I did this a few times, just to build up the intensity. So just take your time, add more color when you need it, and just blend, 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 tons and tons. I am also going to highlight and then I'm also going to put some colour on the lid, just a normal kind of skin tone colour. I don't want to do anything too intense. I thought it just brought it together really, really nicely. So putting that on and then blending it out again. And then later on we're also going to smudge some black down that lower lash line just to make our eyes look super dark and sinister and, you know. You know, you know. I'm so bad at this whole like voiceover thing, but oh well. Take your black eyeliner and smudge that into your waterline and lower lash line just to keep that eye look super, super dark. And then I'm going to line my top lash line with some eyeliner. You can do a wing if you want. You can do no wing. Just go ahead with anything you want to do. I decided to go for quite a big, dramatic, thick... Well, it's not very thick. It's kind of... I don't know. Just a wing. Just a wing. Like a bat. Because I'm a vampire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For the lips, I wanted them to kind of look speckledish, like dark and light and deep and vibrant all at the same time, just so it kind of looked like I had been, you know, messing up my lipstick, ripping into some people's necks or whatever whatever vampires like to do in their spare time. So I'm taking a really deep purpley kind of lip liner and roughly applying that and covering my whole lip and then going on top of that with a bright red lipstick as you can see what I'm doing right now. And you'll see in the end product, it kind of makes it look quite speckly and imperfect which I think goes with the look perfectly and then I'm going to take a purple eyeshadow the tiniest smallest little baby baby amount on my brush and blending that over where I've put my eyeshadow just to add a little bit of that cool tone purple back in um, and then mascara and I'm going to do some false eyelashes these ones here are the wild one by EXO Beauty they're the perfect dramatic fluttery beautiful eyelashes they're super super sexy looking so they go perfectly with this look
and then you want to jog down to your local costume shop and buy some vampire teeth or you can just buy them online just search them on google there are like a million places you can buy them from i think i got mine off trade me in new zealand anyway i'm sticking them to my teeth and then i'm taking some blood and i'm just going to drip this down either side of my mouth so i'm doing a glob as you can see and then i let it run down my face naturally and it looks really really natural if that's the right kind of word um yep and then i'm doing it on the other side and i'm just going to keep adding it until i like how it looks so you can do as much as you want or as little as you want it's totally up to you and that is my finished look i think it's so awesome sexy in a really twisted weird way really creepy and pretty at the same time i don't know that's just my opinion i hope you guys liked it too and if you did please give it a massive thumbs up it helps me out so much with getting my videos out there in the world and i love you guys so much and i will talk to you really soon bye it is waterproof so i kind of feel like just dripping some water on my face <coughs> what a waste <laughs> It's taking a bit of tissue and we're going to see if it transfers off now that my face is literally dripping wet. So some of my mascara came off but none of my foundation did. The tiniest little bit came off my forehead but I don't know, it seems quite cool. Obviously you can't just expect to spray a little bit of this on your face and then go swimming. And